Hey, welcome back to Fox and Robin. Uh, today we've got a little bit of a scene change here. I think we're going to start doing more videos this way where we are sitting in a nice comfy chair uh, and just kind of talk to you. We did some like our Oliver Anthony uh, video this way. Um, so I think we might do more videos or interviews this way so you can see more of what we're doing. So um, I don't think we've done a review on this yet, but this this microphone is going to be cool. Um, I'll show you what it is here soon. Um, it's another warm audio mic. Um, but we've got some songs we're going to be working on um, here in the future just to kind of see how um, how all our equipment's working for one and two just to you know be creative. So, anyways, we're going to get on with today's microphone, which is this guy. It's from Warm Audio, which you you can't tell. It's got the Warm Audio badge on the front here. Um, open up the two latches here, and within here, we have this guy, which you probably can't see too well because it's in a case. So I'm gonna pull it out of its nice velvety box. This is the Warm Audio WA87 R2, not the R1, but the R2. This box is gonna fall, so I'm gonna put it down here. So yeah, it is a WA87, which is their 87 clone, um, and it's kind of like their other mics. It's like the other. It's like the tube version. They do make a tube version of this, um, but it's got the three polar patterns. It's got the Omni, the Cardioid, and the Figure Eight. And um, we'll probably use this today to record some music that we're working on, um, which is kind of why I'm starting with a video today. Uh, it's got a DB pad and a roll-off on the back of it, and then it's also got the Cinemags in it. Um, I can't remember the capsule that's in this microphone, but it has, um, it's a very large microphone as you can tell. Um, I don't know, I suppose I could use it for voice if I wanted to. Um, I bought it to kind of use for acoustic guitars, which sounds kind of funny if you think about it. But I got a super good deal on it, so I thought, you know what? We could always throw acoustic through it, but kind of do a more vintage sound. Maybe even throw it in figure eight, get more of a room sound. You just don't know. So um, it's heavy. It's got quite a bit of weight to it. I'm not sure the weight on it. Um, there's some specs out there on how much it weighs and all that stuff. Um, I might post those down below. I'll at least post a link to where you can find a lot of that stuff um, through Sweetwater or even Warm Audio. Um, the badge is nice. It's not a printed on badge. It's a actually, I don't know if, how they've got that fixed on there, if it's glued or what, but it's a badge that sticks out and it's all metal. It's not like the warm audio printed on stuff. Um, yeah, it feels great. I don't, I don't know if I can unscrew it. I don't think I can. I'd unscrew it and show you the insides, but I can't, can't seem to get it to unscrew. Oh, oh there we go. I'll show you the insides here. So the bottom does unscrew. I didn't think it did, but it does. And this being a FET version, not a tube version, it's not going to have much to the insides here. You can see, you can see the Cinemag there. You can see all the wiring. You can see all the switches and all that fun, fun stuff. Um, I'm just going to put it back together here. Um, and I'll screw this back on here. But that's essentially the mic. There's not much to it. Um, I might post a video of me playing guitar with it so you can hear how it sounds. Um, we'll see how it goes. But. Um, I know that this mic does sound good. I have used it. I've done some vocals with it. I've done some room room mic stuff with it. Um, just to have a different um, different sound. But it does feel good. It does sound good. So um, that's pretty much today's video. Kind of short. These videos have been kind of short because I've been super busy. I'm going to put that down so I don't throw it. Um, our video has been a little shorter because we have been a little bit more busy. We've done a couple live shows with our live rig, um, going around doing concerts and stuff. And it's just, it's been a busy month doing installs and stuff. So um, we are grateful for those who have liked and watched and subscribed. And you know what? If you haven't, go do so. And you know what? Hit that like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. And we'll see you next time.